I promise you guys that uh, if I get enough requests, I will make videos on the Marburg and monkeypox diseases so that in case you are asking your nursing interviews, you would know how to answer those questions. And so I am here to deliver on that promise. I've already done the video on Marburg. So if you've not seen that yet, I'll link it in the description box so that you can go and watch it and get answers ready for your nursing interview. But today we are talking about monkeypox. So grab a pen and a paper and let's get right into it, okay? I'll talk about the disease, how it spreads, the signs and symptoms of the disease, like what you see or how the person will feel when they get monkeypox and then how you can prevent it. And then when we are done with all, we'll look at how you can summarize everything in case you are asked in your nursing interview to, you know, tell us what you know about monkeypox or say something about monkeypox. You will know how to frame your answers, okay? All right, so first off, what is monkeypox? Monkeypox is a zoonotic disease caused by the monkeypox virus. A zoonotic disease is a disease that can be transferred from animal to human being. So monkeypox is a zoonotic disease caused by the monkeypox virus. So how do you get monkeypox? There are two ways that you can get monkeypox. That's from the animal to human. For animal to human, you have to come into direct contact with body fluids, blood or body fluids of animals that are infected. So animals like rats, bats, monkeys, squirrels, and also consuming poorly cooked meats or animal products from infected animals like Eubremunamunu. So from human to human, it's also coming in contact with body fluids. So coming in contact with droplets from sneezing or coughing, you know, it's not actually airborne, but if you are in close range with somebody who sneezes, they heat seem and you can feel the heat seem, you know, the spit and everything on you, and that person is infected, you can get infected also. Or if that person sneezes into a handkerchief or a cloth, I hope nobody is sneezing into handkerchiefs these days, at least after Corona, nobody is sneezing into handkerchiefs again. If you are doing so, stop, buy tissue sneeze and throw away okay we digress but we are back when you come in close contact with blood or body fluids from the person who is infected and uh, monkey pulse comes with rash and we'll look at the signs and symptoms soon and so if the rash maybe the person has rash all over the body and sleeps on a bed sheet and also he or she slept on the rashes that are mostly filled with fluid so if the rash breaks and the fluid contaminates the bed sheet and you also come and sleep on it you can get monkeypox. Either you get like physically, you touch the blood or the body fluid or the rash or through the contaminated linens or clothing of an infected person, you can get the monkeypox. It's almost, it's just like Marbeck. That's the same way you get Marbeck too. For the signs and symptoms or what somebody, signs are things that you can see and know that, oh, this person is having monkeypox. And symptoms are what the patient or the person who is infected will feel, okay? So, one, you feel feverish, you become hot, and this one, if somebody touches you, you know that hey, this person is hot. So there's fever, there's uh, chills, you are feeling cold, there's general body pains, there's low energy, you don't have the strength to move around the way you're supposed to. It's just like when you're sick. And also, you can get swollen lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are easily located, especially in a under the chin and in the groin area. If you've ever had a sore on your leg, and then you see that there, there's a swelling because of that wound, there's a swelling in your groin area. That swelling is a, a lymph node swelling. So if you get monkeypox, you can have lymph node swelling here and sometimes too in your groin area. And those are the early signs of monkeypox. So moving forward, when the disease starts progressing, then you can start having rashes on your face, the palms of your hands, your, the sole of your feet, the eyes, the mouth, your throat, the groin area, you know, your genital area, even the anal region, you can get rashes all over there. And it takes five to 21 days from the time you get infected to the time you start showing signs and symptoms of the disease. There are people who get infected and do not show any symptoms. In those ones we call asymptomatic. They are asymptomatic. It means they don't show any signs or symptoms. So then that brings us to prevention. How do you protect yourself from getting the monkeypox virus? The first way of prevention is protecting yourself from coming in contact with animals that may harbor the virus. So either dead or alive, rats, bats, if you are not sure where this animal is coming from, in fact, stick to fish. Avoid meat that is not thoroughly cooked, you know, you bite into the meat and some parts is red or pink. 
uh, avoid such meat because you don't know if that animal is having the virus and the third way is to practice good personal hygiene including good hand hygiene especially if you come into contact with body fluids of other people or animals if you've handled animals you have to wash your hands sanitize your hands if somebody was infected with monkeypox you avoid using their bed sheets and clothing and things so that you don't also get infected okay so that is monkeypox in your interviews you may be asked can you tell us something about monkeypox or what do you know about monkeypox you can make a summary what the disease is oh monkeypox is a disease caused by the monkeypox virus and can be transmitted from animal to human being and can also be transferred from human being to another human being something like that if they ask oh, what is one unique thing what is one unique sign about monkeypox you can say it's the rash that comes on the skin especially in the palms of your hands the soles of the face the genital area the face and all of that that is one cardinal sign of the monkeypox this is just an example you can just like go through the video if you've just notes make no if you've made notes look at how you can summarize everything if they ask you to tell them about the monkeypox virus if they ask specific questions what is monkeypox then you know that you are just going to define the monkeypox or oh, it's a zoonotic disease or it's a disease that is caused by the monkeypox virus okay what are the signs and symptoms there's fever there's chills you know so depending on how they ask the question then you answer accordingly that's why we went through all of the uh, signs and symptoms and everything so that whatever angle they come from you can answer the question okay so in this video i talk about Marburg, and so if you've not seen that yet you can click here and watch and get yourself prepared with that too and since you are preparing for your nursing interview i have a playlist here full of videos on how to prepare and conquer your nursing interview so you can click on it and watch and prepare well for your nursing interview i hope this was helpful my name is selassie i'm a registered nurse here in ghana and i wish you all the best in your nursing interviews bye